Most Supreme Court decisions are granular, little noticed interpretations of the law and constitution, but a few are landmarks. Roe v. Wade was a landmark. It effectively legalized abortion across the United States. Here are the facts and players in the case. Jane Roe was actually Norma McCorvey. She was a Texan in her early 20s who wanted to terminate an unwanted pregnancy in 1969. Abortion was legal in Texas at the time, but only for the purpose of saving a woman's life. That was not the issue for McCorvey. Her life was not at risk. She tried unsuccessfully to get an illegal abortion and was referred to two attorneys interested in challenging anti-abortion laws. The Wade in Roe v. Wade was Henry Wade, the district attorney of Dallas County, who enforced that Texas abortion law. McCorvey soon filed a case against him. The Supreme Court agreed in 1971 to hear the case and on January 22, 1973, struck down the Texas law in a 7-2 decision. Justice Harry Blackman wrote for the majority opinion and declared a woman's right to privacy under the 14th Amendment superseded a state's right to ban abortion. The court set different rules for each trimester. In the first trimester, the choice to end pregnancy was entirely up to the mother. In the second trimester, the government could regulate but not ban abortion in order to protect the mother's health. In the third trimester, the state could prohibit abortion to protect a fetus that could survive outside the womb, except when the mother's health is in danger. Justices Byron White and William Rehnquist dissented. They basically held the argument of privacy went far beyond the intentions of the constitutional framers, an argument that could signal the grounds for challenges to Roe. The two justices also stated the court's decision did not stick to the specific facts of this case because Roe was not in her first trimester at the time of the litigation. Public opinion was quickly shifting. In August 1972, Americans opposed legalized abortion, 46 to 42 percent. But by April 1973, it was 52 to 41 in favor. In the years since, Roe's been modified but not overturned. A notable example was in 1992, a case called Planned Parenthood versus Casey. For all intents and purposes, this is the new standard by which abortion cases are judged. The focus this time wasn't privacy, it was roadblocks, which had been intentionally set up to make it harder to get an abortion. In a 5-4 ruling, the court said restrictions are unconstitutional if they place an undue burden on a woman. Support for Roe v. Wade remains strong. A Kaiser Family Foundation poll in June 2018 found that 67% of Americans do not want the Supreme Court to overturn the ruling, while 29% do. The question now, of course, is what the Supreme Court will do with the solid conservative majority.